Hey right, guys, and welcome back to Dark Souls. First week and being fully back and uh, up to speed. I have a ton of souls and humanity. I'm gonna at least try to spend these souls. Um, I'm worried about dying and losing all of them. Because we're gonna be going through the story and uh, going to some dangerous asshole areas like uh, Tomb of the Giants. Did I target that guy? From there? No. I do want to kill this guy. So I think I'm going to spend some souls on uh, just some armor, some boss armor that uh, this guy down here will sell. That guy. I always hate coming over here. This always makes me nervous. That ledge is just so thin. Hi, shall I? I'm going to say to you, I'm Donal of Xena. I'm just, well, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. I never really noticed his accent before. Ring of Sacrifice. So, Gold Pine Resin. Master Key. It's where you can get that normally without starting with it. Yeah, and so here's all the boss armors. He's the one who sells all these. These, uh, this is actually a pretty good armor set. But, uh, I think I'll definitely buy Ornsteins just because it looks so cool. Well, hell, I mean, we, we can kind of afford all of these. I want to spend as much as I can, really. Wait. Oh. Oh, that's weird. You can buy multiple of these? I almost bought it the second time. Alright, there we go. Now I won't feel so bad if I die. Thank you. That was a fine trade. I'm gonna try not to though. Uh, ten humanity is uh, it's nothing to squander. Uh, it gives you the highest item find. So from here, I think we're gonna go to the Great Hollow. It makes sense to go there first, since having humanity gives you higher curse resistance, and there are of course the uh, basilisks down there. So it makes sense as a first place to go, because if we go somewhere else first and die, we'll, you know, and not aren't able to recover our blood stain, uh, we'll be out of humanity. Ooh, you know what? There is. Hmm. Well, whatever. We can come back later. There, there is something else that um, we'll want to do in the Great Hollow, but it's not there yet. And to give you guys a hint of what that might be, I actually lost some footage, and I apologize for this, but um, I went to the swamp down here, and um, Onion Bro was there. He was trapped in the swamp and needed some, uh, some moss to get through it. And so I gave him some moss. It's actually kind of funny, when you find him there, he's sleeping, standing up. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to show you guys that, but... Uh, it was mixed in with all that random footage from when I was sick. At first I couldn't really find a good place to put it. And then I uh, deleted, uh, I tried to free up some space on the hard drive that I used to store all that. And um, lost that footage. But that's what happened, so it's all good. You didn't miss much. I'll show you where he was, because we'll pass right by it. Uh, oh, and he gave me, he gives you his shield there for helping him out. He gives you the, uh, the pointy shield that has, uh, that, uh, stab attack that you can do. Uh, 
Really, I'd kind of recommend that most players um, get the Rusted Ring before they come to Blight Town. Although fighting the uh, the stray demon can be kind of hard. But it really does make this area much more pleasant. Oh, don't know why I jumped there. I was holding run. Yeah, Sigmaio's standing like right. Oh, he's still there. Huh. Why is he still there? How bizarre. Oh, there you guys go. I was able to show you uh, show you perfectly where he was standing. The poison swap by quick standing there. Hmm. The poison by hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What? Are they really too short for me to hit? What? <laughs> that is bizarre. But yeah, I still have, still have more souls on me than I would want to lose. I could have spent them, but whatever. I'm not really concerned about it. I mean, doing just that little PvP gave me over over 300,000 souls, I think it was, because I spent some at, at 1.2, if I recall correctly. I want to make it to the bonfire so I don't have to uh, use an Estus. Jumping might be quicker, but it... I don't know if my health drains quicker by going slower, or uh, if it'd be worth it to jump. But here's the bonfire, so we can go through this asshole area. It's gonna be real easy for me to die here. We pick up the uh, Horanthi ring, if that's if I'm pronouncing it right. There you go. Coranthia. Yeah. Alright. This area has, I think, ten crystal lizards. It has a whole bunch. You can see two up there. They're pretty tricky to get, though. Oh, is that a, a guy on the ground? That's interesting. I'm not sure I've ever seen a, uh, a cursed guy on the ground like that. Range is also good for hitting through their curse smoke. But that guy's just broken. But yeah, look at this guy. I've never seen a cursed guy down on the ground like that. Go figure. Oh, let's see. Which way? There's one spot in here where if you're using the 60 frames per second fix, uh, you can get stuck, and like it's almost impossible to get past it. Um, so that's no good. I don't, I don't actually know where all the illusionary walls are in this area. I know there's actually a couple. Uh, that's not one I don't think down here. Uh, this is the spot I was talking about. If you have the 60 frames per second fix, oh and look it's even going now at 30 frames per second. I hate this part. Look at this. Look how stupid this is. You can't roll up it. You can't jump up it. I really don't know what the deal is. I thought it was just a 60 frames per second fix, but I guess it's a problem even at 30. Ladders were such a pain my first time through where I didn't know you could slide down them. 
I had tried it, but you can't do it if you're actually moving at the same time. Nope. Someone requested I use magic lore. Oh, what? <laughs> Did he jump? What? Those like fired and they missed him? But then he jumped back again and, and hit them? That was kind of strange. My soul masses, no. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, see, look how much curse resistance I have. Not a problem. Ooh, an eye of death. Yep. This is where you can find Mice of Death if you're a, um, the Grave Lord. You can also do it. The ones in the depths drop them as well. I think at max item find, it's like 1 in 5 are guaranteed to drop it. Yeah, I strayed away from using magic only in this playthrough quite a bit because uh, just purely really because it's not very entertaining uh, to watch someone cast over and over. Uh, it's more entertaining to see the melee, at least in my opinion, I don't know. Whoa, ah, what? That was weird. These mushroom guys are pretty tough, actually. The big ones, anyways. What? Oh. <laughs> the body falling off. I was like, what was that? But uh, don't let their look deceive you. They're bad mother effers. But yeah, I'm not too concerned with the... Uh, oh, I forgot there was even a fog wall here. I'm not too concerned with fighting those little buggers and getting all the shinies either, because uh, I want to at least get through first. That that area is just such a pain to navigate through. Oh wait, 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 wait. I want to show you guys this. <laughs> I love that. I don't know why that happens, but it's kind of hilarious. Here's the bonfire, don't miss this. Because there's an asshole lurking. I'm mostly down here just to clear this area. I don't have to do it, but I'm trying to be thorough, kill every boss. And there's this boss. Not really a boss, I guess, but he's, um, he's a baddie to be sure. Oh man, is that a fat roll? No. Is it? No. Alright, it's a Hydra, so I'm going to be sh doing some shield work. Hey, bros.
When there's this many heads, it's hard not to hit one. I'm just kind of firing at random. Oh, I want this head. There we go. Oh, bad timing, bad timing. Oh, well, I'm fine, though. Will this fire on them? No? Can I just run into them? <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually, equipping those and having them do some extra damage when they come in for the attack. Let's do that. Oh, assholes. Come on. Alright. Take out this head on the left. That one's kind of swinging in in a way I do not like. What? That was weird. They didn't stick around very long, did they? I could probably just kill his main body right now, actually. Can I get close enough? No. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it just zaps them a little as they swing by. I think he's gonna die before I get all of his heads, cause the, uh... Ow. Cause the soul spheres do such big damage. Are you backing away from me? Jesus. I do not want him shooting at me, that would be hazardous. That's not what I wanted. Don't be in the ground. It's actually usually better to fight him um, over on the other side. I didn't quite realize this guy had multiple ways he can attack. The other Hydra always attacks the same way, but this one's doing some different moves. I only need one more hit on him. Get your head out of the ground. There you go. Get some dragon scales. We can get these scales to upgrade the Moonlight Greatsword while we're here as well. Again, not really planning on using it, but uh, in case I want to play around with it. I might go into New Game Plus with this character. I might platinum this character, actually. I'm having a lot of fun with this playthrough. Take a drink of water. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, there's quite a few dragon scales in this area, tucked away in various places. Don't want to go down there. There's also clams down here. You get uh, Twinkling Titanite from them. I believe originally they were on the only source of Twinkling Titanite, the clams. off my cheaty shield. Oh, why did I do that? Oh yeah, they dropped purging stones as well. Purging stones are very morbid items if you guys don't know. If you uh, check out the description, ash-colored stone encasing a skull, secret treasure of our store, the Earl of Kareem, reduces curse buildup. Humans are helpless against curses and can only redirect their influence. The purging stone does not dispel curses, but receives them as a surrogate. 
the stone itself was once a person or some other being. So, kind of creepy. Soul Masses are a fantastic uh, addition to melee. Being able to stack them hitting with your own melee, especially against poisonous enemies and poisonous players, is can do huge damage. Another Dragon Scale. You can go in this area. Uh, I don't think there's really anything of value in there, though. I, oh, there is something. I forget what it is. I will take a look. Whoa, camera. Don't throw me off the cliff, please. Yeah, right here, there's a... Uh... Very carefully walk off that. Here we are. Ah, yes. Great Magic Barrier. That's the one. Where are those guys scurrying off to? Big, big daddy mushroom. Don't want to mess with that guy. Not sure where those basilisks ran off to. But yeah, great magic barrier. Again, kind of not super useful. Some Titanite. Almost to the end. My first time through this area, I did not kill the Hydra. I think it was on my SL1 character. I was trying to get... No, no, it was on my Strength character. I did a Strength build, but I came down here way early. Because I wanted to start getting the, uh, the Dragon Head and Dragon Torso Stone as soon as possible. And man, running through this area with the Hydra on you, that Hydra will actually chase you the entire way. And man, it is so stressful <laughs> having to try to dodge him. Man. The clams are chasing you and they're getting like taken out by the magic goobers. I love this area though, by the way. It's so cool that this is like... Um, I mean, this is what you see in the opening cutscene. This is, this is the land before the ever, everlasting dragons died, before the Age of Fire. And it's just weird because it's like fog up there. Like the entire world seems to be supported on these trees. And that is amazing. And here is our friend, the last known everlasting dragon. Who's also a bonfire keeper, strange enough. I wonder if that has anything to do with the lore. I never thought about that. Hmm. Interesting. So, I'm gonna take his tail. This guy will, um... Whoop. This guy will never aggro. He is immortal. You can't kill him. He's an everlasting dragon. He has, he's got the stone scales of immortality. So, pretty awesome. I wish you could fight this guy. That'd be so cool if you could. 
Let's take a look at his face. Where's my binoculars? Kind of really creepy, scary face. It's like just this tiny little face on this big dragon. Yeah, that's creepy. Oop. And so that is Ash Lake in the Great Hollow. Let's see if we can go back through the Great Hollow and uh, if, see if I can show you guys some of the goodies. Question is, can I warp to the Great Hollow? No? I'm not seeing it? No? No, I can't. Uh, well then that's okay. I guess we'll, uh, we'll move on for now, because I got to approach it from the top then, if I want to do that. So let's head to, uh, let's, let's head to, um, Demon Runes. Nope, not that one. I always get that one confused with, uh, Daughter of Chaos. But yeah, nothing else really down there of consequence. Um, I mean, obviously there's a lot of crystal lizards, um, but uh, so they're they're actually a pretty good source of our uh, red titanite chunks, if uh, that's what you're looking for. But they're just all over the place, and I don't need them, so I'm not really uh, in the mood to scour through such an annoying area looking for something I don't need. And there's also various souls and uh, chunks, and there is some good stuff in there. But I'll leave it to you guys to just kind of poke around and um, see what you can find. There are, of course, plenty of videos out there showing the uh, locations of these things. And so, um, I think uh, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to call it here, and then uh, next time we'll take on the demon fire sage, centipede demon and probably the bed of chaos will probably just blast right through all of them so um thanks for watching guys i will see you next time where's my wave where's my wave? there it is bye bye